Alrighty, so, well, first off, I wish I um, kept things where they're supposed to, you know, I probably repurposed it or something. I went to go later on after a bazillion, I was like, wait a minute, God, you overcomplicate things. Why can't you just freaking find the Lego board? But of course, you think I can find the Lego board? Nope. Doesn't matter. I really actually want to go this route. Um, well, not the, remember, this is all concept, man. Complete, I'm just, none of this may even happen. I'm just trying to play around in my head and have things, um, you know, food for thought for later or whatever. And um, if you guys, you know, go, hey, th this would make more sense or so on and so forth, for goodness sakes, man, um, you know, th throw in your suggestions or whatever. Anyway, so I, I grabbed a pegboard from the dollar store, put some foam, um, cork underneath, used one of my old um, uh, uh, blocks and the pin there that I was using for the Gorlitza uh, was going to use for the Gorlitza uh, Tarnif Breakthrough with Ken X Ken and then um, so anyways here so here what I'm trying to do is like I said just trying to and I've been playing not even looking down at the board what I'm going to do is eventually is make up a, a few of these um, proto you know like I said just concept stuff and then I'm going to uh, randomly put them here. Uh, I'll identify them later. And then I'm going to just touch and uh, put it off on the, th on the thing. Put it away like a blind taste test kind of thing or whatever. Blind touch test. And um, then I'll find out how accurate I am in de determining. So here I could do some stacking. And I also want to do it regardless um, uh, if you've got... Uh, you know, you're, you got 20-20 vision or you don't. Uh, I, I think you should, I'd like to um, have the game set or the components set. It doesn't matter. You, you know, it, that's irrelevant. It should be for anybody. Anyways, so what? the first thing I was thinking of, yeah, I, need, I want the block at the bottom anyways for that manipulation. So that way you go, okay, here's the piece. But then I, uh, I would like to have a true north. So some kind of like little indent or some kind of thing so I can touch and go, okay, that's true north. So that way I know as I start going up on the stacks and start touching the sides, because I'm assuming, uh, I mean, for the person that's going to have a difficult time, you know, seeing the colors or what have you, um, that's where I'll put the identification markers. So maybe I'm just saying, maybe all four sides that are smooth indicate in infantry. And I can feel right away that there's two. So I'm like, okay, there's two infantry, it's stacked. You know what I mean? And like I said, I always go down here and feel the true north, where the hell I am. I'm just, like I said, I'm just, this is like, like, like just woke up, you know, like right out of the eggshell kind of thing. Um, but that's where I'm going at. But you can, yeah, I don't know I'd use, but like I said, it's concept again. The Lego is just really difficult to, it's just so tight. Um, I'd like something that maybe like, you know, like a, um, a facsimile that's uh, people go, boy, that's crappy Lego. And I'd be like, actually, it's good for me. Um, but like I said, if you got some ideas or whatever, it'd be, uh, it's also about space and fingers. And, but I would want to have the, the hex or the train information here on the template somehow. Um, and that's going to be the, where you can touch. And yet again, maybe another true north or something. Oh, God, left and I'm loving this, man. Okay, that's it. See ya.